How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Level M Diecast unboxing today. This is Greenlight Route Runner Series 4. This one's a little bit later uh, than I wanted to get it up on the channel. Uh, that's because this first one we're looking at 2021 Ram Promaster 2500 Cargo High Roof School Bus. School Bus colors. Um, the little piece you see right here, that's actually the mirror. Uh, so. I was actually trying to uh, find another replacement for this, but that is unfortunately not going to happen. Uh, so I will uh, crack this guy open and uh, fix them all up uh, before we take a look at them. But uh, you know, it happens. It happens. Next one up in the mix, 2014 Ram Promaster Mopar Performance Delivery Truck. Wicked. Wicked cool. Um, anything branded with Mopar is pretty cool uh, in my book. A little biased, a little biased, not not, not too biased. Uh, last Pro Master in this mix, 2018. This is a ambulance for Mexico. Um, Instituto Mexicano del Seguro Social. I'm not even. I butchered it. I butchered it. Anyways, that's what it is. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, like that. Green light is definitely looking outside the box. On getting new decos for these, although we still don't see a Amazon delivery van. Uh, first Transit 2017 LWB High Roof, uh, long wheelbase. In case you guys were curious, this is in BF Goodrich Deco. Always good, always good. They do a lot of car themed ones, which makes sense. I would do a lot of car themed ones too, since they make car stuff. Uh, next one up 2019 Ford Transit LWB High Roof. In Las Vegas Metropin, Metropolitan uh, Police Digital Investigations Unit. So that's pretty cool. I especially like the deco on the side. You have uh, all the iconic stuff from the strip down there. Looks pretty cool. We'll take a better look at that when we crack him open. Uh, and then the very last one in the mix. This is 2019 Ford Transit LWB High Roof in Ford Performance Parts. Not as good as Mopar, but... You know, at least it's red, white, and blue. That looks pretty cool. So uh, we'll crack these guys all open and uh, we'll take a look. All right, everybody, here we go. We are going to start with the uh, corrected and fixed 2021 Ram Pro Master 2500 Cargo High Roof School Bus. Now, <clears throat> I'm fairly certain they call this school bus for the color. It's clearly not uh, done up to be a passenger van for sure, uh, let alone be an actual school bus. I think it's an interesting uh color choice name i guess you could say uh, i do like this guy looks pretty good does reflect the 20 actually changed in 2019 i believe uh to where it just says ram in the grill it does not have the crosshairs um, when we look at the other ones we'll be able to see the crosshairs return on the little bit older years this guy looks pretty good i mean there's not a whole lot of anything to it it's just yellow um it's just you know, it's more of like a Penske delivery van, I guess you could say, uh, in my opinion. Um, but it, it still looks pretty good. I, I like the yellow. It's it's all right. <clears throat> I do like the wheels on it too. The wheels are pretty nice. It's not the not the generic wheels that they normally put on there. A little bit a little bit better decoed up wheels. Um, there's a little bit of tampo right here on the back underneath the rear tail lights. Um, that is printed up to be the uh, hinges, uh, but the hinges on the top are not decoed up i think that's interesting um again no license plate decos on these uh kind of interesting doesn't seem like they're doing that anymore taking a look at the base there is my number 1144 not a huge number not a small number just just a regular number it's a regular number next one we're going to take a look at this is the 2014 uh mopar service delivery ridiculous awesome no biased. <clears throat> um, so when this rolls around, you will see the 2014 does have the crosshair grill. You see on the back there as well, this guy does have tampo for the top hinges on the rear doors. Uh, the wheels are white painted to match the body, uh, especially like the Mopar across the windshield. Very nice touch, uh, very nice addition there. Although <clears throat> you will notice that uh, the marker lights on the roof the um you know little roof lights up here uh those are not decoed up they were decoed on the one we just looked at unfortunately they're not decoed on this guy 
Um, so I don't know if that's a sacrifice that was made to do the windshield banner or not, but it's kind of ridiculous if that's the case. Looks pretty good, though. Just have the white painted grill, of course, as well to match the vehicle itself. And then just looking at the bottom, or the back, I should say, to say Ram, got your Ram logo on the left. Overspray on that third brake light. It's a little, little rough, but it doesn't look bad uh, in person. Just you guys are zoomed in. Mopar on the plate. So again, not doing actual plates anymore. Um, see what number we got here. 2045 is the number on this guy. Painted up. Got that nice coating on the on the bases. Looks pretty pretty nice. Looks pretty nice. All right, the last Ram Pro Master of this mix, because there's half and half, is the Mexico Ambulance. Um, I am not going to try to uh, pronounce that again because I butchered it, and I do apologize to. Everybody who speaks actual Spanish, because I do not, I do, I do apologize. Um, <clears throat> I really, really, really like that green light is not only thinking outside the box with their decos, but they're doing a lot of decos that have to do with things in Mexico. And I think that's great for, um, you know, the hobby because, you know, in America, there's other things outside of America that things can be decoed up for. We don't just have to have everything decoed up with American things. Um, I mean, this this ProMaster you're looking at is actually a Fiat. It's not even an American vehicle. So there's so many decos that Greenlight can throw on there, and I think that this is a great idea. I like the little slender light bar at the top and the numbers on the top as well. Looks pretty cool. I like all the black in the front of the grill. It's just a really nice model, and the decos look pretty good. I like all just the little bits. The door handles decoed up. The rear hinges are decoed up. Again, no plates. I think Green Light is not going to do plates anymore, or they've just completely gotten away from that. But I like this version. <clears throat> Taking a look at the base deets. 1644 is my number on this guy. So we're we're in the relative ballpark of each other, <clears throat> I guess you could say. All right, we're going to move on to the Ford Transit. First one we're going to take a look at, BF Goodrich. Uh, this casting is a bit bigger than the ProMaster, uh, therefore is, is significantly heavier. It's not, a, it's not a bigger casting as much. It just weighs way more. So I'm wondering if the metal may be a little bit thicker on this guy. But anyways, um, <clears throat> this looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I like the red, white, and blue. I like the red roof on the top. They always have a little bit more intricate grill, intricate more uh, headlight tampo details for the Transit. So that comes through. These are my favorite wheels for the Transit. The other two do not have these. This is this is the only one that will have that particular wheel. Uh, they do have the taillights decoed up on the side. Kind of curves around to the back, but most of the tampo is on the side. Um, it's kind of like that in real life, so it's okay on the casting. It's, it's, it's okay. This one's not really super decoed up though and this one does have some quality issues um some residue and stuff on there uh some splotches down there on the bottom of the red that didn't quite get set right before it was uh touched again no plate a little little difficult on the blue there as well it does say transit on the back um but yeah just some quality issues on this particular guy this guy is the lowest number thus far 1096 that is the base deets. Yes, all these guys are decoed up for trailer hitch, or I should say hooked up for trailer hitches. Um, both of these uh, castings have been in the hitch and tow line previously. All right, Ford Performance Parts, 2019 Transit. Um, I like the white stripes on the top. It looks pretty cool. I know that they did a uh, Matchbox did kind of a decoed up, kind of a sporty uh blue transit um new super fast uh, probably like 2006 2007 era somewhere around there and uh they did uh blue with white stripes it was pretty cool i liked it a lot um <clears throat> this one's nice he gets the uh print on the top of the roof there for the marker lights um looks like all the door handles are decoed up looks pretty good there's quite a bit of deco on this guy um which i don't think is a bad thing um, looking at the <clears throat> back of the casting, um, I believe that that is painted. Um, we'll have to take a look because this casting does not have windows in the back. So 
those uh, clear windows in the back of this particular version are more than likely going to be printed. So we'll take a look at that real quick. It is a pretty nice print, but you can see a little bit of a cracks in the print because it's pretty thick. Um, it's definitely supposed to, well, it's trying to mimic that it's like really tinted glass. You can see that there's a matte black on the outside with like tinted looking glass. Uh, but it's just, it's all metal. It's just metal. Uh, taking a look at the base deets on this guy. 2337, that is, I think that's the highest number thus far. So, not ridiculous numbers. Not ridiculous numbers. Not the greatest numbers. Not ridiculous. <clears throat> All right, last one here. I kind of saved this transit for last because um, I kind of really want to look at the uh, deco on the side with the silhouette of the Las Vegas Strip. <clears throat> if you guys never been to Vegas, I highly recommend you go to Vegas. Just make sure you have a very, very deep pocket of money. Um, this guy looks pretty cool. Digital Investigations van. Again, you know, green light. Look, you know, thinking outside the box. Yes, they did an emergency version. A lot of people are like, oh, they do emergency versions all the way. Uh, it's a little bit different though, you know. Digital Investigations, that's kind of cool, you know. Computer crimes and stuff like that. It's a pretty cool idea. I like that. Um, again, you know, no, no plates on the back. I do like the American flag though on the back looks pretty good. This guy does have the same type of tampo in the back to kind of mimic the window. Um, it looks pretty good. looks pretty good. Just uh, black and white. I'm glad they didn't put a light bar on this because, you know, this is probably not something that's going to be like racing to a crime scene. They're just going to drive there. So I'm glad they didn't put a light bar on it. So <clears throat> taking a look at that cool skyline there. Uh, you got the Luxor, uh, there's the Paris Eiffel Powers, Eiffel Tower Paris thingy, forget what it's called. Uh, you got New York, New York in there. It looks like maybe the wind potentially, uh, stratosphere, of course, uh, circus circus is in there. Um, bunch of other ones in there. Couldn't name them all, but, uh, haven't been to all of them. So that's pretty cool. I'm sure you guys have seen your favorite casino right there on the side. Looking pretty fancy. And then the base deets, well, check that out. This is the lowest number. 424 is the number. So that's pretty fancy. It's not a, it doesn't really matter. You know, we talked about that before, but it's still pretty cool. So there you go. I think that one is one of the coolest ones, uh, although the Mopar one's my favorite. But we're going to roll out on that one. Let me know what you guys think about Greenlight Route Runner Series 4. Um, they cannot bring these things fast enough. This is definitely one of my favorite lines from Greenlight. Um, I'm just really, really hoping that they do that Sprinter van. We'll keep our fingers crossed. We'll get a Sprinter van sometime in the near future. But anyways, for now, we're going to roll out. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Come back. Yada, yada, yada. You know how it is. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you very much. Level and Diecast. Peace.